Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Very special shout out to this user for suggesting I do one of my favorite lins. So let's get to. And don't forget to subscribe. People ask if showering is hard. Yes. People ask if I can wear a seatbelt. No, they don't fit me. Becky's getting pulled over. Are you scared? No. Hello. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing all right. As soon as I looked down and saw I was going. <laughs> He's actually really nice, so that's good. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so some of you ask me why I don't wear a seatbelt, it's because it's broken. And in Florida, um, you don't have to wear seatbelts, so that's a thing. That's a lie, you can't say that. You told me I didn't have to wear a seatbelt and I wouldn't get a ticket. You literally said that to me when I first came here. That's in the back seat. I said, do I have to wear a seatbelt? And you told me, no, it's not a rule. I think it's just in the back seat, though. It's like conspiracies that I can't wear a seatbelt. I can. Can you guys see? <laughs> Something smells weird. The fact that I have to show that is so pathetic. Extender, nothing. Just a regular seatbelt. Just living my best life. Actual footage of her living her best life. Right now, I'm in the Walmart parking lot. And the reason why is because we're making chili. Well, I'm making chili tonight for dinner. Becky's going to help me a little bit. And we forgot the ground turkey. <laughs> So we got home and we're like, crap. So she just went and ran in and... <laughs> Marks, do the deer. You guys know, oh my God, I have repeated this like a million times, but that's okay. Since I hadn't been in the car in five weeks, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try, you know, putting on the seatbelt. And it was yesterday, but the seat was back kind of far. So I put it on and it fit. And so I showed that in the video and I was very proud of it, but a lot of people like were, oh, it's only because you know your seat's back super far and you're flattened out. <laughs> oh, I love this girl. So it made me feel kind of bad about my non-scale victory. So we fixed the seat today. Now it's up like a normal seat high and it still fits. You guys, it's literally hooked in. Can you see it? Can you see it? No, 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 no. No extender, nothing. You guys, this seatbelt never fit me before, ever. It fits, I'm happy. Let's go to Dr. Armchair for a lesson, shall we? Oh, hi there. Dr. Armchair here. So, the FUPA, fatty upper pubic area, also known as the mons pubis, is a rounded fatty tissue lump above the genitals. There you go. And I also want to say a lot of you are asking like why I don't wear a seatbelt in Destiny's car. It's because her seatbelt's broken. Like this part isn't broken. If I can reach for it. Like hello, how you doing? Like this part is not broken. Like it goes all the way around me. But you know the part that it like clips in? It doesn't even have that. You're a lot. Like what and I mean we could go get it fixed but I'm okay. I think I'm okay. No seatbelt driving like, on the fucking really freeway or whatever. Like I bet Amber Lynn is an armrest hog for sure. Like it's been like that since Destiny had this car. She actually bought this car off of a lady who actually lives in Germany. So that's a whole other uh, sorry, uh, her, her. trying to get rid of it like really fast. But Destiny's had this car for over two years now and she's just never gotten it fixed. Seatbelts don't fit me, but they do, so <laughs> I just was never told to wear a seatbelt and like I don't know 
to think of it. Back in the day, nobody wore seat belts. POV. Oops, oh, she only has like another week. It's really windy outside, and you guys are literally outside. Like, look. <laughs> Starbucks. Oh my god, look at how hot I am. I am super hot. I have the window open and the door. I have that window open. No air conditioning. It's now about 84 degrees. Car is probably like 90 something. I'm feeling really hot. Because as you can see, I am now fitting in the car. The swelling is going down a bit. Plus, I'm just like forcing myself. Just gotta force yourself. Actual footage of her forcing herself. <laughs> Alright, so I've gone to vanilla bean and uh, vanilla scone. Yes, ma'am. Two, 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 vanil two vanilla scones. Two, anything else? No, ma'am, that's it. Alright, we'll see you at the window. Thank you. Thank you. I'm kind of busy. See, the thing is, belts don't really fit me. In literally 90, probably 5% of cars, seat belts don't fit me. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of, I'm sorry, I had to wipe off the screen. I've gotten a lot of questions about was the car door really like broken or am I too fat to sit in the front? I can 100% sit in the front seat. I have the window open and the door. But the door can now open and yes, I can fit in the front seat. Plus, I'm just like forcing myself. Just gotta force yourself the curvy comment winner is mystique k and they said oh my gosh look at the sheer size of her abdomen while in the car and her left hand is holding the seat belt on the side instead of clicking it because she couldn't she thinks she is so slick by holding the belt with her right hand while pointing her left paws at becky's phone wait what see okay so her left hand is holding the seat belt. And then they said that the, my right hand is hold. Gotcha, bitch. You make no sense. Honestly, you make no sense because I have physically shown myself literally with the seat belt clicked in the thing. I have vlogged myself putting on the seatbelt, my hand just happened to been laying, I guess, in a certain way. If I can reach for it, like, hello, how you doing? It's another comment to make me feel bad about myself, but in reality, I actually feel very, very good about myself. Because I have lost enough weight to actually wear a seatbelt now when that seatbelt never used to fit me at all. <laughs> 